Catalina Rieson. I'm a Baroque violinist coming from the UK, but also half Latvian, um, and now working and performing in Brussels. And I am a keyboard player, early keyboard player specialist uh, from Chile, also working here in Brussels at the Conservatory. It's a fun today uh, working on a piece by Peter Phillips, which is a keyboard piece. Yeah, and it's from a collection of keyboard pieces that we are trying to take another look at it. Uh, from not much documentation that we have of this practice of uh, playing the keyboard and the violin from England of this time of the late 16th century and early 17th century. We have, we have a good amount of iconography showing this, especially in more popular settings or intimate house uh, settings. So we have arranged this Gagliarda Passamento of Peter Phillips uh, for the keyboard and the violin, thinking also of the folk elements that you can hear in the tunes that are within in this repertoire. And Peter Phillips is a composer, one of the few composers that were in Brussels as uh, refugees, as religious uh, refugees in exile. It's also interesting how they bring their culture and their nostalgia. Uh, on one hand, the English tunes and probably the ways of playing, and Connor has experience with that. And then also bringing from the south, uh, Peter Phillips was a lover of Italian music. So he mixes this English dance with an Italian sort of ground and he creates his own style. It's just so nice to be able to recreate something that's really quite humble. For instance, the violin is pretty new at this time and it sort of has very humble beginnings compared to what we associate it with now. Uh, so just concert halls and stages, whereas the iconography, we see it in pubs and taverns or on the farm. <laughs> But it's just really nice to be able to recreate all of this here in Kaltenberg Palace and we've chosen this room today to record it which is, could have possibly been used as a dance room as well, it's um, long and perfect. So in these smaller settings, this type of instrument, this is a mother and child version of um, used not for big concert halls probably, but for this more intimate uh, duo or solo sentences. This is also from the family of Brookers, as I mentioned. Uh, so it brings us back to this connection of Belgium, Brussels and England. And we had lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I think that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>